and this band for the Ukraine that gets in the container to help as many people it, and in as many places as humanly possible and to care for God's environment. There is a local thrift store in Tofield, Alberta, Busy Bee Bargains, that has taken an approach away from retail and instead towards community building. They have proven that a small store can make big impacts locally as well as globally while sharing with customers and local residences the importance of reducing, reusing, and recycling. Busy Bee has a rich history that is deeply rooted in the community of Tofield. It is a grassroots approach that wants to help as many people in as many ways as they can. It started as an idea, which then became a store, and then a chain of stores and eventually becoming of movement in Tofield now that promotes holistic living and the well-being of others. The enthusiasm of people like Yvonne Brown, the Busy Bee coordinator, has paved the way for many others' enthusiasms, proving to all people that anything is possible, that ideas empowered with empathy can change the world around you. I dreamt about it for about five years and wanted to do it and wanted to do it. So we rented the back room of the co-ops uh, center, but we had no entrance to of our own. We used the flower shop back door as our entrance. We had no window to the outside, but we saw it as a start, which it indeed truly was a start. It was still behind the flower shop, one little building. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then we moved here. That's how this got to be called number one. And when they burst at the seams, they went over and they opened up number two. And then it burst at the seams and they got three. And that's how we got one, two, and three. It was called B&B &B because Yvonne Brown and Gloria Burke, two bees, started it. Originally they started as an exchange for children's clothing. And then people just started bringing stuff and it became a business. We then had our own place of business, our own front door and back door and windows to them. And that's when we got uh, a multitude of volunteers because all of a sudden people knew about us. We were no longer in the back door of the flower shop and people wanted to be a part of it. There are many places that benefit from Busy Bee's help. Over the years, they have given to organizations, businesses, and local community agencies through funds, door prizes, silent auction items, and with a strong, enthusiastic volunteer basis, they are able to rally behind just about every event in the community. Anyone that does a cry out to us, that phones us and says they need something for a certain organization or a certain function, mm -hmm. we will... Uh, do our donor just to gather all that stuff. Busy Bee fills a need in Tofield. Of that there is no doubt. The simplicity of Busy Bee's mission statement does no justice to how it reaches some of the most complex issues in our society today. It reaches tough issues like homelessness, family abuse, low-income families, and even the environment. It is the only clothing retail store in Tofield and it is completely run on the goodwill of others through donations, which are then pumped back into the community. This is, I think, the foundation of OCB, is to be a broker uh, to help, to lend a hand. This type of community purpose and drive is where, letting it stand out in its approach to local and global issues. First of all, it, it uh, gives people a place to come and buy. Clothes and, and clothes and other items at reasonable cost. Mm -hmm. Since I retired from teaching six years ago, almost all my clothes come from here. The other is it gives people who no longer have a use for something a place where they know it's going to go and get used. Mm -hmm. And anything that doesn't get used here gets, um, that's still sellable goes to the Diabetes Society. And that's how the Diabetes Society funds its work. Busy Bee's generosity goes beyond Alberta to places like Mexico, Ukraine, and Africa. With volunteers taking bags of clothing, toys, shoes, home items, electronic appliances, and anything else that is in dire need. Once more, what makes this organization so unique is that most of the volunteers are directly involved in getting these items to their necessary destinations. 
they went back to their country, they used to take suitcases full of stuff. And she says even like toy, little toys or... But she says they have nothing. So even if they have a stain on an outfit, because I said, oh, well, this one doesn't have a button on it. She says, no. She says, Gail, these are people that have nothing. Even a stain is is really amazing to them to receive that. We had an 8 by 10 table completely covered with school supplies because someone had renovated an old school for these children of the dump. When the container goes over, he flies over to make sure it goes to where it's supposed to go. There's no third parties involved in it. It goes from here to there and he passes it to the needy. There's couples that go down there every year to do something for the Mexicans and that. And so we've got that all shipped out and then there's another couple that go down there and they take um, like shorts and clothes for kids that need it. For Busy Bee, a customer is the most important part of their day. Whether the customer lives in another country or right in Toefield, they are the focus and they are the reason for why Busy Bee does what they do. We have no other reason to be doing what we're doing except for helping people and they are our customers. Completely important. Customers do much more than purchase from us. All of this put together, like you cannot, uh, it's, it's, it's like a tree with many branches and the trunk is uh, that location that they have here and the branches of uh, the, 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 the okay, you ready? that they provide the shade and they provide the fruits and they provide the, the firewood, and, uh, firewood and all the stuff but it's, it's like a tree with so many branches mm -hmm. that's the best way I can okay. describe it it's like a whole tree and everything is interrelated without the branches there are no tree uh, trunk, and without the trunk, there are no branches. No, you're not getting down.